Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and really appreciate everybody taking a little time to watch the video today. Gonna give you guys the uh, practice report from here at Grand Lake, day two. Um, preparation for the Bassmaster Tournament that starts on Thursday. So real quick before we get started here, just wanted to invite everybody, if you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to the channel, I'd like to invite you to do so. We still got half the people watching the videos here aren't subscribed, so much appreciated if you could just hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, hit that like button too. It really helps things out around here. So anyway, here's a day two report. Um, yesterday, if you guys watched the video, um, I spent most of the day fishing that deep yesterday. Uh, probably, you know, anyway, 85% of the day. Um, you know, I really felt that that is how to win this tournament is fishing off the bank and i caught some fish but i just didn't i didn't catch enough fish to really excite me about it i mean i i i got a lot of deep stuff here to fish but something about it i just you know if, if you fish all day long and you spend a lot of time doing that and you just don't get any tournament grade you know the type of fish that's going to win a tournament it's hard to keep doing it so anyway today i sort of mixed it up a little bit i sort of flipped areas of the lake um, fish uh, and I sort of mixed it up. I fished shallow about 80% of the time today and fish deeper about, you know, 20% of the time. So mixed it up there and sort of about the same, same results, you know, caught some fish, uh, nothing to really get excited about. Uh, and it, I didn't notice that much difference as far as the quality of the fish that I caught today shallow versus the ones I caught deep yesterday. It was sort of the same there, but overall, I mean, I've, I've had a chance to fish the lake now for two practice days. I'm very familiar with the lake and it's the lake is, I just think it's fishing really tough right now. I mean, I, I fished enough of, of good stuff that I felt I should have caught a couple quality fish on that I haven't. So, um, and obviously, and you know, a lot of the places that I plan on fishing the tournament, I'm not going to fish them in practice. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to catch the fish. I don't want people to see me on them. I just, I'm sort of staying away from a lot of that stuff but it's sort of typical Grand Lake. I mean, it's like, it's the fall time of the year here. It's always, you know, you can catch bass here. There's fish to be caught, but it's always a little bit tougher. You know, the bass have gotten, we've, we're coming to the end of the tournament season now and the bass have gotten hammered every single work weekend since February by tournaments here. Fish have seen a lot of baits and I don't think it's the conditions as much. You know, we've had some really stable weather for the past week here, really. You know, we had that front come in about a week ago. The, it cleared off this past Saturday. And I don't think there's been hardly cloud in the sky, you know, for four or five days now. You know, temperatures are nice. It's, you know, it's been in the 70s. It's been, you know, in the, around 50 in the, in the morning. So we got real stable weather coming in. And the lake is pretty stable, too. I mean, the there's the lake is a little bit more dirty in certain parts of it because we had some rain last week that, that dirtied up the Neosha River. So you got part of the lake that's a little bit more stained than what it normally is. Lake is just maybe just a little bit higher than what it normally is this time of year. But overall, it, on from an exterior point of view, the lake, you know, is pretty stable. Everything's pretty stable. But I just think that the fish right now I get the feeling from the fish that I've caught that they're really, really wary right now. I just think there's been so much beating on them, you know, for such a long time. I just think these fish are really smart now. The fish, in my opinion here, there's going to be a lot of different ways to catch them from what I've seen. In my practice the last two days, like I said, I fished anywhere between you know, two feet deep down to 20 feet deep. And there's fish using all of that. There's fish in two foot of water, there's fish in 20 foot of water right now. Um, and, you know, a lot of the stuff that I did today and yesterday too, I was trying to experiment a little bit more with some off the wall stuff, you know, stuff that I felt had a bigger, a little bit better chance of catching a bigger fish than I would normally go to. If I'm having a tough time, obviously I, I'm going to have to downsize my approach. Instead of like fishing a big football head jig or a big worm out deep, you know, you may have to go to shaky head. You know, instead of fishing, you know, a big spinner bait or a big square bill crank bait shallow, um, you may have to, you know, downsize and, you know, pitch like a, you know, Z crawl junior, some, some type of downsize thing. I really feel that that's going to be a key from how 
I feel the personality of the fish is right now. I think that it's going to be a little bit of a finesse tournament. I don't look for this to be like this big Mongo power fishing tournament. We don't have the weather for that. We've got, it's going to be sunny with not a lot of wind in the tournament. It's not going to be real conducive to, to like, you know, a good topwater bite or a good moving bait bite. Um, I think it's going to be more of a finesse deal. Although, you know, there'll be windows of time where some of that stuff works. But this tournament, again, I really feel that you're going to, I think you're going to have half of the anglers in this tournament wadded up into some really good water. And then I think you're going to have half the guys that don't know the lake very good are, they're just not in very good water and they're not going to catch much. Um, I've paid close attention to where a lot of the guys are fishing here because I wanted to get a feel for the flow of the traffic. Because in my opinion, if you have an area that's getting the heavy flow coming in on it, and there's a lot of people stopping and fishing these areas, it has just as much of a negative of, uh, of an impact on the fish as if there's a bad front come through or if the water muddied up. So fishing pressure to me is that I, people say, well, you got to worry about catching your own fish. That may be true, but I am really part of my game plan in this tournament is to be very aware where my competitors are fishing and try to fish some different areas because I know so many, I don't have to go on those type of areas. I know so many different type of areas to fish here. I really think a lot of the guys that get in there and try to fish those community holes, um, I don't think they're going to do very good in the tournament. I think there's, like I said, I think half the guys in this tournament are completely in the wrong water in this tournament. So um, from that standpoint, I look for the weights to really drop off after about the top you know 15 or 20 in this tournament i i feel from what i've seen that there's going to be you know five to 15 guys that have decent weights every day in the tournament and i think everybody else is going to be a really big grind for them to catch it i i i, I don't look for there to be a lot of double limits weighted in this tournament even though it's five fish 14 inches I don't look for their, I, I think that if you catch a limit of fish in this tournament, both days that are, that's knocking on that 10 to 11 pound range, I definitely think that'll get a check in the tournament. I still go by my prediction that I think probably 45 pounds is going to win the tournament in that, in that zone there. So um, anyway, tomorrow, I, we got a short day tomorrow. We got half a day of practice. Um, I'm probably not going to fish a lot tomorrow. I'm probably going to scout some areas out. I want to get a feel, you know, for how things are setting up, how things are laying out a little bit. Um, you know, maybe pay some close, close attention to some bait fish activity, fish a little bit. But, um, from what I have seen in this tournament guy so far, I'm probably not going to fish any of the places that I fished yesterday or today. I probably won't even hit them. I'm probably going to fish my tournament on places that I have not even practiced on that I just know good. I mean, I fished, I fished 50 Octobers down here. I just know where these fish live in October. And for me, it's just a matter of timing. It's, I've got to be, a lot of it has to, you know, you know, be the, it's got to be the right time. It's got to, you know, you got to land those fish when they bite. You, you can't, you're not, this is a tournament you're not going to get a lot of bites in. So you've got to really capitalize on the ones that you get. And so for me in this tournament, it's all about maximizing my efficiency, uh, you know, and really being aware of my timing and, and, and mixing it up a lot. This, this tournament, if you guys look at my boat, the first more of the tournament, I'm probably going to have more rods out in this tournament than I've had all year. I'm going to, I'm going to literally throw the kitchen sink at them here because I got so many places where it's like, I know they'll bite a, a certain bait on this spot. And then on the next spot, they'll bite a certain bait. It's not like I can just put two or three rods on the deck. I'm probably going to have a bunch of rods out and, and you know, basically match the area to the lure that I'm fishing that I know works there. So anyway, that's report for, for today, guys. Um, again, caught some fish, nothing, nothing to get excited about. I, although I am excited about the tournament, I'm excited for it to start. And tomorrow I'll let you guys know how the short practice goes and I'll sort of give you guys an overview and an analyzation of what to expect the first day of the tournament. So again, much appreciated everybody tuning in. I, I really, you know, don't take it for granted. You guys are watching these videos. Uh, the tournament videos seem to be getting pretty good reception or pretty good viewership. So 
um, I'll just really do my best to try to use this tournament and all my tournaments to like, you know, help uh, share some information with you guys that may help you catch some fish down the road. So anyway, we'll check in tomorrow. T take care. Talk to you later. Bye.